Okay, so I've had my Roomba 960 for a little over a year. Just It's just out of warranty. And uh, it's been a very good vacuum so far. Um, although, just uh, about a month or so out of warranty, it suddenly stopped docking when it was done cleaning. Uh, it would basically just hunt and hunt and hunt. Um, it's what I did. Uh, I have a couple dogs, so the vacuum cleaner gets pretty dirty. So I decided to totally disassemble it uh, and give it a thorough cleaning because it... Uh, does start having some issues when it gets really dirty um, basically it'll build up static electricity uh, during the winter uh, and, and shuts down I think that's probably just because of all the dog hair that gets in it so what I've done is I've taken it apart um, and as I was taking it apart I found the front bumper um, and I assumed that there was probably an issue with this sensor right here on the front not being able to see the, the docking station. Um, so I started looking at it, and when I looked down in there, I could see that there was a wire on this sensor that was broken. Um, so you can see that red wire right there is broken. Uh, the sensor basically just attaches, there are two screws that hold it uh, right into this mount here. And this entire front unit, the, the vacuum cleaner actually sits, when it's upside down, this front unit sits like that. And the entire thing is just held on with 10 screws on this plastic clip right here. So basically you take out these 10 screws, lift that off, and then this whole thing will come loose. You'll need to take out the two screws right there that are holding the sensor. Then this thing will pull totally away from the unit. And if yours is broken like mine, you can see that red wire needs to be replaced or, or fixed. So, um, not sure a good way to actually fix that. It doesn't look like it's uh, easily removable from the circuit board inside without totally disassembling the thing. So, uh, I'm gonna take this into the shop and see what I can come up with. Uh, I may just be able to fix that wire. I may just I may be able to get it apart and totally replace all the wires on that. So uh, I'm going to take it down uh, to where my electronics tools are, and we'll see what we can do. All right, well, I've got the handle off. Uh, so basically, to get the handle off, you take out the two screws you can get to, which are right here. And then it's got uh, these little clips that actually slide down in and latch. So basically, you get it. Uh, get the screws out and then you just twist it until those come out and then you can slide it right out. Um, and I've also got uh, some of the back bezel off so that just actually just pops off so it snaps on in the front and then just snaps down. Um, I don't hear any screws or anything underneath it that I've found yet. Uh, I don't really look down in those holes but uh, we'll see. Interestingly enough, when I pulled one of them off, there's a USB port uh, underneath one of the bezels. And then another port that I noticed, uh, right back here, this rubber plug uh, that actually is underneath the uh, dust bin. You pull that out and there's access, uh, or it looks like maybe test, uh, like um, test terminals or something where they plug in a test device. So, all right, well, I'm gonna continue trying to disassemble this. All right, so I've got the top panel off now. Basically, it just snaps on. Pull that off, and it will expose a bunch of screws that hopefully will let us get the rest of the top off. All right, so I took all the screws on the top out, and here we have uh, the guts of the Roomba 960. And it looks like this thing actually runs into this connector on the circuit board. Uh, so I should just be able to pull this out now and uh, replace this wire, or as much of it as I can. Um, looks like maybe when that broke, uh, it looks like it was getting pinched. That doesn't look like it's wear and tear. That just looks like it got pinched in something. So I'm gonna see what I can do to fix that now. So I didn't have the uh, type of crimp pins that I needed. I was going to actually replace the entire wire all the way into the connector, but I didn't have the crimp pins. So what I did is I uh, desoldered it up at the uh, receiver. The, I think that's an IR receiver. I 
I uh, desoldered it up here at a heat shrink, just added the sectional wire. It should be back behind uh, where that originally had the issue, uh, so it should uh, hopefully not be flexible or not be flexing back where I've done the solder joint. So um, now we'll go ahead and put it back together and see what happens. So there it is back together. So uh, we will go ahead and see what happens. Um, it should just uh, hopefully dock over at the little docking station that's located over there uh, before it would just wander around aimlessly because I couldn't find it. So let's see what happens. All right, so hit the home button. And I guess that might not work. All right, let's see what happens when I hit the home button. Should hopefully go straight to the docking station, line up, and dock. That's a good sign. Success. Uh -huh.